Exercise 14C, Exploring and Travelling. We can use a network graph to be able to show a path or a trail or a walk from one point to another. But what does a trail or a path or a walk mean? Well, it means that it's a certain type of set of directions from one vertex to another that has different rules dependent on its name. In the first example here, I have an example of a walk. A walk is simply a sequence of edges linking successive vertices together. A walk can have any repeated edges, it can have repeated vertices, it's just me connecting any of those lines together. So a trail is just a walk that's got no repeated edges, e.g. B-E-F-C-B-A in my image on the right. A path is actually a subset of trails. It's a trail but has no repeated vertices. So it's got no repeated edges and no repeated vertices. So that's A, D, C, F, E, B. A circuit is a trail that starts and ends at the same vertex. So for example, it's A, C, F, G, D, C, B, A is a circuit, whereas a cycle is a path that has no repeated edges, no repeated vertices, and starts and ends at the same vertex. So in example two, using the graph below, identify the following walks as either a trail, path, circuit, cycle, or walk. A, B, E, B, F is only a walk because it has repeats going on there. B, C, D, E, B, well, that has no repeated edges and no repeated vertices, so therefore it, and it starts and ends the same vertex, so it's a cycle. C, C, D, E, F, B, and A. So that has no repeated edges, it has no repeated vertices. Uh, so the, which one would I refer that to be? So that would be uh, a path. Um, you could theoretically described as a trail. I have said it could be a trail or a path, but the answer I probably prefer would be a path. Then I've got the last one, C, B, E, F, D, E, B, C, A. And of course, with that one, there are repeated edges and repeated vertices, so therefore it is simply a walk. Now we also have special paths, trails and circuits. There are Euler types and Hamiltonian types. Euler trails and Euler circuits pass through each edge exactly once. Hamiltonian paths and Hamiltonian cycles pass through each vertex only once. Those are the main things to remember. If you can remember the other attributes, that is also helpful. So for example, an Euler trail has exactly two vertices of odd degree. They start in one and ends at the other. And an Euler circuit have all have an even degree. Unfortunately, there's no such easy way with Hamiltonian ones. You just have to determine it by inspection. In example three, I've written here, which of the following graphs contains an Euler circuit? I'm actually going to suggest to rephrase this question because, spoiler alert, they all contain an Euler circuit in some way or other. However, uh, we want to know which one is an Euler circuit. So let's see, rephrase it, which one is an Euler circuit? In this case, we need to determine which of those uh, networks all have an even degree. Or alternatively, if I draw through it, it passes through each edge exactly once. The answer, of course, is C. In example four, I have asked for the graph above, which of the following is a Hamiltonian circuit? You could, of course, eliminate anything that doesn't start and end at the same vertex. You could also eliminate anything that is repeated, any vertex apart from the start and end that is repeated. And then if you've got two left over, as we do, you'll need to just simply draw it out. The only option that is correct is in fact C, because if we try to go with E, we'll end up repeating ourselves. Example five, which one of the following describes a Hamiltonian path for the graph above? So if we check with A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A to B to C to D to E to F to G to H, it is indeed a Hamiltonian path. The other examples all have repeats that, uh, or they have repeated vertices throughout, which we cannot have for any Hamiltonian path. In example six, 
I need to convert the network above to one that is an Eulerian circuit. So I therefore need to add an edge somewhere. So where could I add a single edge to make it an Eulerian circuit? So an Eulerian circuit means that all of the vertices have to be of an even degree. Therefore, I simply have to add or find which of my vertices have an odd degree, make an edge to those two, and that will determine or that will create an even degree, and so they will all be even. And the answer to this would be E, connecting ones from D and E.